Prime Minister of the Federal Government of Ethiopia, President of the University of Addis Ababa, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, ambassadors, excellencies, what an honor is to be here for me. What a great honor to stay here in this stage in Ethiopia, my country. Last time, I was giving a small speech and commotion took me and took my soul when I was looking at the first generating of power from the great Ethiopian Renaissance time. This was a special occasion to me, a special occasion for a lot of people in this country that were looking at their future and now they're looking at a future in a different way. Being here means having achieving something in my life. I started my life and my career with a small bucket and a small shovel in plastic as a child. I was looking at my grandfather and every time I was looking at him, I was thinking, what shall I do in my life? I want to be a contractor. I want to be somebody who, who builds something for the people. I was telling to all the workers, the track of my grandfather are the largest, the most powerful, the most beautiful one. And at that time, I was unaware that my life would have been developed in such a way and having such a lucky life. As a, with the point of view of an engineer, my life has been a dream. I have been involved, managed, did, was in so many large projects in the last 50 years that I cannot even mention, from the Panama Canal to the Great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam to the Gibbet Tree, to all the dam around the world, when you say 2,200 kilometers of tunneling, 80,000 kilometers of roads, 1,000 kilometers of bridges. It is not a matter of numbers of money, because what makes engineering and what makes engineering close to the people is that what you do is not money. It is change of the life of the people, making things and making life better for them. So when we build something, we have always to think of the people who will use it. And now so proud that there are more than 100 million every day of people that are using our things, drinking our water, supplying with the energy that we produce, taking the metros we did around the world, using the trains in 52 countries in the world. Now more than 80,000 people are working for us. Whatever I did, I did it for my father. I want to thank him in front of everybody because he, he was an outstanding father and he is an outstanding father for me. He is now in his 90s. He, he couldn't come because his uh, heart uh, didn't afford to, to be in such a hate, but with his heart is here. And, uh, and to my mother, which of course uh, brought me with the value I am now transmitting to the company. I think that uh, thinking at the people is the secret of the achievement uh, we had. When we put all together, all these people, all, all those companies, and, and try to, to make a single, a single culture that uh, it is the one uh, we build as everywhere in the world, is to think about the people we are working for, not think only about money. Money is always a measure, is a thermometer. When you are an entrepreneur, when you are a listed company, when you have to give results to the shareholders, of course, you have to talk about money. You talk about uh, profit, turnover. And when you manage a company, you have to give to your shareholders what they deserve. But you can also give in exchange something that money, it is not the only measure of. It is the welfare of the people you work for. And especially in a country like this, 
these people have my heart, uh, and I will do whatever is possible to deliver more power for this country with the water that God gave to them. So let me thank you all for this honor I received and for this uh, honorary degree that I bring here in my chest. Thank you very much.